realist? Well, at least I try and look for the positives instead of wallowing in despair. I mean, at least I'm trying to make something with my life. And I don't? No, you don't. I mean, OK, I was the dull little sister with the fabulous big sister who no one ever noticed, Mum, Dad or anyone else. Oh, come on. Mum and Dad adored you. The only person they ever talked about was you. Well, how come six months before he died, Dad yelled, why can't you be more like your sister? I, I was lived the... in your shadow. And you never spoke to me until I was 18. It's because you weren't worth speaking to. <laughs> You know what? I'd swap my life for yours any time. I might be dull, but I found a husband I love, a job I love, and a daughter I adore, and I cannot accept that that's going to be taken away from me. It's a catastrophe. Hmm? Your word. It's... it's a catastrophe. Don't despair. Don't dis don't despair. See, I told you. Don't despair. I know. See, I know we're gonna survive. Downloading now, sir. With video attachment. Sent almost the same time of day, 10.59. Take a look at this, Charles. Video attachment one open, sir. Try the message. Whales. Helpful. Well, they probably would have survived. They spend most of their time deep underwater. Mate, whales breathe air like the rest of us. Well, maybe the radiation was never that high in the far north. Big message to send would have been that humans had bloody well survived. Why are they telling us about whales? If they're transmitting, I think it's pretty obvious that human beings have survived. Can't wait for the next message. Maybe the Arctic wood duck is thriving too. They're just letting us know what conditions are like up there. Can you get any more? You're in looking that? pensive, Admiral. What do you think? I'd appreciate it if you didn't call him the Admiral. But Dwight, old son, you are one. What do you think? Well, until we decipher more of this message, I think it's fruitless to speculate. Fine, then. Let's just keep the fantasy alive. When we get to Alaska, there's going to be a bloody great party going on. Is that what you all want me to say? I think we'd all like you to say right now just as little as possible. Well, what I will say is I've been feeding that supercomputer the best equations it's ever had in its life, and it keeps telling me no. Why don't we do a surface radiation reading right now? Because we are not far enough north. 48 degrees, I'd expect some kind of drop. And our orders are to wait till we're over 60 degrees. Come on! And no. if there is no drop, morale around here is going to get blown to hell. And I can't afford it. Do you understand that? Maybe the ostriches have survived too. They bury their heads in the sand. You know, the guys would probably rather know, sir. Release the cylinder, boy, Bobby. Yes, sir. Five, four, three, two, one. Give me a reading and patch it in. 130, sir. Down 50 rads from last. Yeah. I guess we do have a draw. Still within the range of normal variation. What, 50 points? Are you kidding? Bobby. Sorry, sir. Can we do another reading in an hour? If it's still around 1.30, I might get interested. And if a third's at or below that level, then I might get bloody excited. We're going to take a reading when we get to Anchorage, Dr. Osborne. I think that's the reading that's really going to count. I need all the data I can get. We will take a reading when we get to Anchorage. That rational, Commander? You know, I guess it's not. I guess I want word to get around down there. We did drop 50 rads. Because I want my guys to feel a little hope. You know, just for a day or two. Like, I want to feel some hope. You heard of hope, Doc? That's in hope springs eternal. Or hope and glory. How about the great white hope? Or how about I hope a fucking elephant sits in your fat ass, you cynical bastard? <laughs> Take off the 
goddamn sunglasses. I have to see what's going on in your eyes. Come on. Did you miss? See, when he says that's a diversion because Garcia's got something big, that's why he says that. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Get your hand off it. Oh. Oh. All right, come on. Let's Just go. take him off. First, take him off. He never takes him. Oh. That's it. Uh, I'm out, gentlemen. <laughs> right. So, see, you're a 50. I'll raise it another 50. I never bluffed, Lieutenant. <laughs> then why don't you raise me again? Because I couldn't stand to see you walking around here like living dead if I wiped you out. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh Bobby, you haven't even seen my cards yet. Come on. Oh, really? <laughs> Full house, baby. Oh, dear. One, two, three, four kids! He set you up, baby! You should have kept your glasses on, Bobby. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he wants some money. Let's see how long it lasts. Come on. Oh, yeah, no, I'm out of here now. You ain't gonna see that again. Garcia, you can't quit while you're ahead. Guys get shot for doing that. Swain, the only reason I'm even playing this game is so that one day I could win all your money and then just get off and leave. <laughs> Nobody's that big an asshole. Nobody. I know you think you run this freaking book, Garcia. But I'm hey, telling Bobby. you, man. I'm off. Sir, what you did was right. And if you'd have said one more word, I'd have fucked you up. Hey, for fuck's sake, that's ancient history. Fuck it that, is man. history, Bobby. Bobby, come on. There's plenty of time to win your money back, man. Come on. Don't be an asshole. Sit here and play. Tony, sit down and play. Please. Come on. What the hell? Three more hands. Let's go. You understand me? Anchorage Harbor, sir. I'll get the captain. Captain. We're here, sir. We're here. Full of stern, Chief. Full of stern, aye, aye, sir. Hold it here. Hold it. Give me depth. It's uh, 150, sir. Okay, release your buoy. Yes, sir. Sonar buoy deployed, sir. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. It's up there, sir. I'm not getting a reading, sir. Gotta be some background radiation here, Mr. Garcia. Might be a defective buoy, sir. Send up another. Yes, sir. Sonar buoy deployed, sir. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. It's on the surface, sir. over 150 rad, sir. God damn it! Fuck! Then who the hell is sitting in that goddamn music? Bobby, it's over 150. That's all I know. Fuck! I'll bring her up the periscope depth now. Periscope depth. Aye, aye. Sir. Now! Go! Come on! We have periscope depth, sir. I'll raise your radio aerial. Yes, sir. Bobby, watch it there, will you? Functioning, sir. Are you getting any messages here, Giles? Two, sir. One from last week, one from two days ago. Uh, talk to me. I'll open the video file. Uh, video file won't open, sir. I'll try the message.
I've got something for you at last. What the hell does that mean? It makes no goddamn sense at all. This damn thing's still coming through at the same time of day. Around 11 o'clock, one or two minutes earlier each day. Well, we can fix the location on where it's coming from, Pam. Yeah. Just give me a minute. <laughs>